hello y'all and welcome back to the channel of Marquita here and I just want to hop on to share some deals that I have bagged at Target the past couple of days this week so I don't know it's currently Friday night technically Saturday morning because it is after midnight at this point um but I will say that these deals should at least be going on through Sunday they may go beyond that but I want to try <laughs> keyword is try to get this video up um sometime tomorrow so that'll be saturday so that you will at least have time to maybe take advantage of these deals um if you need to go in the store but i think most of them you can that i'm going to share with you you can do through online or in store so you don't necessarily have to go to the store but you may have to do it by sunday um or before the end of sunday so i wanted to go ahead and share it with you because some of them are involving target circle so let's go ahead and get into it so before I get into it, um, you heard me mention Target Circle. For those who don't know, Target Circle is kind of like a Target Rewards program. It is free. Um, it's through the app, through the Target app. So if you don't have the Target app, please download the app. Then uh, sign up for Target Circle. All you really need is like an email address and, and your phone number. I choose my cell phone number. And each time that you shop at Target, you should scan it even if you don't have any deals or anything scan it because what happens is it tracks like your your spending and it also tracks like what you buy so it can give recommendations and also like whenever there's a deal or something on items that you typically buy sometimes they'll give you special promos related to those items and then they also have just a generic bank of coupons they typically match manufacturer coupons so like um coupons you might find in your local newspaper or online that you print off they would have those in the app so you can use those instead of having to worry about like printing or clipping or cutting coupons you can do everything in the app and it applies at checkout so what you'll do is when you go into target circle you save whatever deals you want to apply and when you go to the checkout you'll scan your barcode and it will take off any uh coupons or deals that apply sometimes target will throw in their own special so they might say um, for example, all Revlon products are 10% off. So if you've checked that deal and let's say that there's a dollar off or a three dollar off Revlon lipstick, you can use the 10% off um, Revlon products and the three dollar off, you know, Revlon if you buy like a lip product. So that's how Target Circle works. You can stack within that level, but you cannot stack manufacturer coupons. So just keep that in mind. But again, sign up. It's free and it's an easy way to coupon and save a little money without all the hassle. No, I'm not endorsed by Target, but hey, Target, you should, because <laughs> I will spread the word. I love to help people save money when they're spending and shopping. So let's go ahead and get into the deals that I've used, starting with one that is available in Target Circle, which is $5 off $25 worth of books. So you guys know I enjoy reading, and lately I've been purchasing um, physical books from Target and getting them the Target Book Club recommendations. So I also have Audible by Amazon and I use that for my audiobooks, but physical books I've been getting them from Target. Target typically has books for a good price and they do offer deals from time to time, sometimes by a specific book or author and then other times um like this deal where it's like 5 off 25, it pretty much applies to all the books, hardcover and or paperback. So it's not limited to one or the other. So I picked up a couple of books today. One I have been eyeing for a little while. Like I knew that I would eventually add it to my collection. And so when this deal rolled around, I decided to pick it up. And this one is called All the Lonely People. And it is by Mike Gale. The 20% off sticker is covering it. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go. Um, that sticker just says that you get 20 percent off the cover price this book is about a guy named hubert bird thought he was alone in the world until he met his neighbors so i believe this is hubert here in the middle and this seems like it's going to be a very interesting funny story but also um a realistic reminder so hubert lives in london and he has a daughter that lives in australia hubert is a widower so you know he lives by himself his daughter is you know in a whole nother country so um, when they call, when they talk to each other, like, you know, she calls her dad, you know, check in, whatever he's telling her about, you know, all these things that he's doing, like how he has this fabulous kind of social life and all these things he's doing, you know, he's hanging out with people, blah, 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 making it seem like he's doing fine. 
when in reality he has no social life he doesn't interact with people including his neighbors and he just kind of does his regular routine and that's something that's why i say like it's something you can think about when you think about like older people in general or even maybe your parents or relatives like as the children grow up and you know they're doing their own thing living their own life they may have their own families whatever like what's going on with the parents so especially if they have lost their partner um you know they may not be they may or may not be um you know socializing or whatever and they may just be kind of hanging out at the house and they might be lonely they may not be like lonely like to the point of depression because i don't think this man was depressed by any means but he just didn't really have a social life but he was telling his daughter he did have this great wonderful life so it seems like it's going to be interesting because she she just pops up and says hey dad like i'm going to come visit you and he was not expecting that so now he has a very short amount of time to create this life that he's been telling his daughter that he's been living, which he has not. So that's what is going to be like the plot of this story. But that's what also kind of brings the comedic piece into it is that now this man has to actually get to know people and pretend that they like hang out and probably do things on a regular. So that seems like it's going to be a very interesting and funny story. Um, the other book that I picked up was a totally new book to me. And I think it is a relatively new book um, out of release. And it is by Lisa C. And it's called Lady Tan's Circle of Women. Now, this one is a hardcover book. And honestly, hardcover books are not my favorite just because I prefer uh, softback books. I almost didn't get this book just because it was hardcover. But it is a beautiful cover. I'll show you guys the back too. It is a very beautiful cover. Um, but I read the summary in the flat here cover and it just sounded like such a really good book. So I went back and forth on it and I was like, eh, do I want to wait for it to come out in paperback? Because from reading the summary, I was just like, I, I definitely knew I would want to read this book. Um, but I was just like, eh, do I want to get the hardback? But I went ahead and got the hardback. The other benefit is that this is an autographed copy or a signed copy. As you guys know, a lot of Target Book Club books are signed copies and those are the ones I tend to go for. But this book is about a woman um, named Tan, or Tan Yuen, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly, um, who's born into an elite family, Chinese family. And traditionally for her, the expectation would be that she would, you know, get married and, and just kind of be like a kept woman, housewife, you know, woman of the house, do do what was expected in as a traditional wife in the Chinese culture. And she's not that girl. So we love a story like that. So it says here, according to Confucius, an educated woman is a worthless woman. Um, but this woman, uh, and this woman being Tan, um, she's been raised by her grandparents. And her grandmother is only one, only one, of, is one of only a handful of female doctors in China. And so she teaches... Uh, you in the pillars of the Chinese medicine and she also teaches her a lot about female um or women's illnesses many that are related to childbearing so essentially she's learning to become a midwife and there's a lot that goes into this not only because one the profession itself but she becomes a midwife in training makes a friend named Maylene and you know they are really they bond and they kind of have the same purpose where they want to help women um, through this, you know, way by being midwives. And so they kind of made like their life goal. That's what they want to do. And they're very passionate about it. But again, there's the tradition of, you know, that's not what women in your status of your level, like we, that's not, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You, uh, you and gets married or an arranged marriage and the mother-in-law does not want her to continue doing what she's doing. She wants her to be what they consider a proper wife. And so, again, we're going back to that Chinese tradition. You know, have children, sons in particular, um, and stay within the family compound. So, one of the things I do want to say, fun fact about me, is that I took a Chinese history class. I believe it was like Asian history. I really don't remember the uh, title, but it was like, you know how history classes can be from a certain year or era to a certain point? Yeah, I took one of those classes. Why? I don't know. It was an elective for me in, in undergrad, but it was actually very interesting. And I learned a lot about Chinese um, and Asian dynasties. 
So um, it does mention the Ming Dynasty in here. And so I, the names are familiar. I know about some of the different dynasties. Do I remember all the information I learned in that in that history class? Absolutely not. But um, I do, at least when I see the names of the dynasties, they do ring bells. And I do, when I start reading about it, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that. So yeah, I learned a little something, but did I commit it to memory? No. Again, this is Lady Tan's Circle of Women. Next on the list is Starbucks. If you have a Target with a Starbucks in it, then a lot of the summer cups are on clearance. And by clearance, I mean 50 to 70% off. So this wonderful little cup here, which actually has quite a bit in it, which, you know, when I picked it up, I wasn't expecting that, I forgot. Yeah, so this Starbucks cup um, was originally $19.95, and I paid... Um, $6.98 for it. And this is one of the summer ones. I strict I specifically remember it because it had that yellow straw. This one, there was a there were a lot of these left. And I think this just wasn't as popular as maybe they expected, at least not in my area. And I know I wasn't attracted to it. I think it was the straw combination, like the color of the straw. It just didn't do it for me. So this pink and this kind of yellow highlighter, I don't dislike either color, but I don't like these two together. And I don't know why it bothers me so much that I don't like them. But that's why I, I just kind of saw it and I wasn't excited about the cup. But I was excited about it being six ninety eight, So I got it. And this is the size I typically like. But either way, I got two of these. Um, one I'm going to gift. And then I also got this one at a different Target. There are actually three Targets I kind of frequent. So this one, I just love the color. I wasn't crazy about the studded design as much. Um, this one also came in like a pink. I think it was like this color pink, but it had this stud design. I don't think that one was still there when I went to get it, but this blue is why I bought it because I love this color blue. Um, the inside is smooth, but it does have, it kind of feels like a massage. Like if you rub your hand over it, it's like a nice little hand massage. Um, it doesn't hurt, but it's not also not the most comfortable thing to hold. Um, but I love the color and I will be using it. So I just washed all of these too because I just picked them up. But yeah, love this one. I think this one was originally, I can tell you because it's still on the bottom. This was originally $24.95 and I paid $7.98 for this one. So worth it. And the last one that I picked up is actually one of the tall ones. This one is a 24 ounce. So these, um, the first two, these are 16 ounces. And then the tall one is the 24 ounce. Now, this one was originally $22.95. And I paid $6.98 for it, or $7.98 for this one. Now, the thing that attracted me to this one was just that, again, the color blue. I just, it's a thing with blues for me. Certain color blues, I think, look great on me, like, clothing-wise. And also, I just love, like, co certain colors. So, I'll buy it in, like, products, items, decor, or whatever. So, that's really the only reason I got this. I'm not a fan of the tall cups simply because they are a pain in the butt to store in my cabinets. Um, and that's because I don't have tall cabinets. So, like, these will fit fine, but I have to take the straw out. So, the cabinets aren't even tall enough, at least where I store these, um, the cups. The, even with the straw, it's too tall. So these right here, I don't have a clue where I'm going to put this yet. And all of these are cold water, or not cold water, but cold drink only. These are not hot drinks. They did have a couple that hold hot, but that's my biggest gripe with Starbucks um, cups is a lot of them are only for cold beverages. And I'm just like, I do want to be able to drink my coffee. Other than the plastic, they did have like the... The regular plastic cups that have like the little top. But we want like the fancy. Even though they do have cute designs on the plastic ones. And some of those were also on clearance. So check them out. The other thing that I purchased were um, some clearance items. Sale and clearance. So we have this pair of shoes that I got. Pretty much all the summer stuff is on clearance. Like whether it be apparel, items, you know, like the Starbucks cups, whatever. They're all marked down to some extent. This stuff is is mostly that I've been finding is like fifty percent or more. Um, these shoes are just some cute little brown sandals. These are size eleven, which is what size I wear. This is from the brand um, Shade and Shore, and they were originally nineteen ninety nine, and they are now on sale for nine ninety nine. Love that for me. And I just tried them on. And I bought them without trying them on. But once I tried them on, they fit fine. Sometimes I was afraid that this, uh, sometimes these buckles, or not buckles, it's just 
a strap. Sometimes these straps on my foot can be um, tight, especially like, you know, if your foot gets a little puffy or swells, like sometimes in the summer it will swell the heat, but these fit fine, did not hurt, it was very comfortable, and I think the shoe itself is going to be comfortable as you wear it. So, I thought that was a good deal for some sandals. And then the other deal that I got, also also a form of shoes, and I'm super excited about, um, were some bedroom slippers here. And these are from the brand Stars Above, which does a lot of their loungewear and, and a lot of their uh, sleepwear. But um, I had actually been watching these because I had seen them. Um, they had been marked down for a while. They're originally $20.00. And so when I purchased, when I saw them the first time marked down, they were marked down from twenty to fourteen dollars. And when I went to see them this time, they were marked down to ten dollars. And I thought, okay, I'm glad I waited to get them because it was like two weeks ago. I'm glad I waited to purchase them because I saved a little bit more money. They're half off now. And how about when I got to the register, these were six dollars. They scanned for six dollars. So I was like, winning. So I'm so glad that waiting. That's a good lesson, guys, for waiting. Um, I was really afraid because, again, I wear a size 11, and if you wear, like, a 10 or 11, you already know, like, those sizes can be hard to find, and they get going really quickly because they usually only have, like, one or two. So, I, that was the only fear that I had in waiting. I was like, you know, if I wait and don't get them, I might miss out on them, and I really wanted them because they were super cute, and they feel so soft. They are as soft as they look. They're just like a lot of the other materials from the Stars Above collection. They do have the hard bottom. So you could wear them outside, like if you need to run out to your mailbox, run out to the car, or maybe even if you're doing like a Target drive up, but they are hard bottom, but I'm just going to wear them out around the house and maybe for just what I name, like just to go, I don't even think I want to take them outside. These will be strictly indoor, but they do have these, um, check them out. All right. So the other, other thing, if you see me keep looking up, it's because I'm looking at my TV, which is showing the preseason game of the Bengals. And the Falcons and um, my cousin actually plays for the Bengals so that's why I'm kind of eyeing the um, <laughs> game but it's in the fourth quarter with like less than a minute so not a big thing going on um let's see what we have next um outfits so I found two outfits from this collection um just trying to make sure my microphone's on so it doesn't look like that uh <laughs> from the future collective collection by Alani Noel. So you guys know, Noel? yes, Noel. So Target has been doing like the future collective where they kind of feature um, up and coming artists or new designers or whatnot to give them a little exposure. I have done other collect collections um, from future collective on him before starting with the Kalana um, Barfield collection. I will link that video either up in the cards or at the end so that you guys can check that out. Um, even though the pieces, you guys know, they're limited edition, so you never, if you miss it, it's kind of gone, unless you can catch it, like, on Poshmark or whatever. So, I love this color. Again, here's my blues. You guys already told you I love blues. And also, although my cousin does play for the Bengals, I am a Carolina Panthers fan. And if you know anything about NFL football, you know about the Carolina Panthers, these are our colors. And so I really love these colors together, and I also love that color blue. So this is ideal for me. But this is a dress, even though it doesn't look like much of anything but a bunch of cloth. Um, it actually has, this is the back. What you're seeing is the back strap. And it has two slits on the side. And so I'll insert a picture of me actually wearing it so you can see the dress. This is the top. It ties in the back so you can adjust it and make it as tight or as loose as you need it to be. And that can help to provide support for your boobies, which would be here. I'm trying to help it so that you can see the dress to some extent other than that picture. But that's what it would do. And then the slits are kind of on the side right up under the boob. And then you also have some of your back out as well. Now, I like the way the dress looked. My only issue is, and it's thick enough to go without a bra in terms of, like, coverage. But, um... Because I have a bigger chest, I'm a 38 double D, I think even with the tie and being able to pull this up a little bit, I think I would want to wear like maybe some tape or one of those special rods, something where I could like give myself a little bit of lift just because of the way I want it to look. 
I think it's fine if you want to go without, and I probably will, like, if I'm at the beach or something, yeah, we just free and free the top to let the girls out. They're just going to be there. But I think if I want to get a certain look, I might would want something that would give it lift. But other than that, I like the dress, and the dress was on clearance for $11.40. Originally, it was $40, no, $38.00. And you can see it was marked down to eleven forty, and this is the designer here. Um, and this is a size extra extra large. So that is still considered the straight sizes. It is not plus size. An extra extra large and a two X are not one and the same. People always confuse that. But the one X, two X, three X that is plus size. Extra large or extra extra large that is still straight size. Another piece that. I got and I honestly thought it was a skirt and then when I tried it on I was like oh yeah I think it's a dress because she did have some skirts that had kind of like some little string or like a little piece at the top that was a little extra design so I thought that that's what this was and then I came to realize because I didn't try either of these on before I purchased them I just blind bought them and I was like if they don't fit they're just going back but they both fit so when I tried this on this is also from the future collective but the same same designer and this had been $30 and it was $9. And then this is also extra, extra large. And it has a split on the side. It comes down long enough to where I feel comfortable in it. Um, it's not super short, even though the split comes up <laughs> kind of high. But it comes up like a little above my knee. And it's on the side. But I like it. It's thick. It's thick, but not like too thick to be like hot for summer. But it's thick enough where it is a good quality and you feel comfortable and covered in it it's not like see-through and super thin and it's ribbed material so i get close enough so you can see that if i can find a screenshot of the actual like you know picture from like target website then i'll put that in there as well but um yeah i really liked it i love the color and i like the way the dress fits and looks the next piece of clothing that i purchased i actually got today and again, speaking of Target Circle, Target Circle has a 30% off women's apparel, and then they have another $10 off $50 worth of clothing um, as well. And I think that goes across any, like, women and children, or maybe it's just women. I have to double check that. But either way, I know the 30% is women's apparel, and then you get, like, the 10 off 50. So one thing I picked up, and I got the 30% off with this sweatshirt. And you guys know Disney is celebrating its 100 years. So there's a lot of stuff coming out that has Disney characters. They're bringing back our old school characters like Pink Panther and, you know, old school classic Mickey, Minnie, uh, Donald, everybody. So <laughs> this is a sweatshirt that is, it's got that off center um, design. But this one has Mickey. And it says original, the one and only, All-Star League, Los Angeles. And then here it says California's champion athletes since 1928. And I hope you guys can see that. This is in a size extra, extra large. It retails for $21.99. I got it for 30% um, off. So I don't have the receipt with me. Do I? Yes, I do. Woo so it ended up being fifteen thirty nine. They also had a white one that had the pink panther on it, so it's like white and pink and red, and it was the same price. So it would have been uh, fifteen thirty nine too if you want that as well. And again, I got this in an extra extra large. I probably could have worn an extra large because it is, as you can probably see, it has that oversized look. But when it comes to sweatshirts, I like for my sweatshirts to be like oversized. Me throwing a pair of leggings and some cute boots. Oh, yeah, we ready. Like me and Mickey going to have some fun this uh, fall and winter, really, because it ain't going to be that cold in the fall. I wish it would be, but it's not. So the last couple things I want to show you, um, last thing I want to mention is that Target is currently running a household sale where it is um, you spend $50 and you get $15 dollars back on a gift card so you get fifteen dollars for your gift card for spending fifty dollars on household essentials now this can apply to things like toilet paper cups paper paper plates uh cups trash bags uh paper towels 
all those types of things. Um, Ziploc bags, I believe, are included. Um, but basically, anything that's like household based, like housewares, that kind of thing, then it counts, like in terms of like kitchen and all that. And they do have signs posted, so you can always check just to make sure that an item that you're getting is uh, included. Cleaning supplies are also included. So one of the things that I picked up um, are these Kleenex hand towels. Now, I've been using these. They're not anything new to me or new at all, but this design is new, and that's what I want to show you guys. It's just the design. Um, so I thought these were really cute, and my bathroom is black and white, so you can kind of use whatever you want. I am kind of following the black and white theme in there when I do my decorating, but um, this I think will be a cute little pop of color to go in my guest bathroom. And the way that I use them, you can sit them on the counter and just like, you know, pluck them that way. But the way I use them is kind of like their model on the box here where I put them on my towel rack and, you know, put it upside down. And someone can just pull the bottom out, like pull it out, kind of like in those public bathrooms, how it works. So that is the way that I use the Kleenex hand towels um, for my guest room. And I do have them in my personal bathroom too, but typically I use my towel. <coughs> But in the event I don't have them, I keep these in there. So this is one pattern. And then I just want to show you a couple of others. There are four different patterns or four new patterns. I only got two of them just because of what I thought would match my bathroom. I may go back and get um, the other two or at least one more because it has purple in it. And y'all know purple is my favorite color, even though it matches absolutely nothing in my bathroom or even in my house because I don't even have. Um, my kitchen is also black and white, so it <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't even match in there. But here is the other design. I think I'm going to put these in my bathroom. That's the um, that's in the master suite. And again, because mine, or I'm sorry, this is going in the guest bathroom. This one's going in the master suite. And the reason being because in my master suite, again, is black and white. But my shower curtain, it's white with blue and gray in it. Kind of like a turquoise and gray um, flat floral pattern. So these are going in my bathroom. These are going in the guest bathroom. Because like I said, the black and white and then this kind of pop of color here. And you get 60 in a box. So it's a pretty good deal. And then the last thing that I purchased was were these um, Glad... Force Flex, Max Strength, Cherry Blossom, um, trash bags. Now, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the Force Flex bags. I don't hate them, but also I'm not crazy about them. However, I have been wanting to try this Cherry Blossom um, scented one for a very long time because I've seen so many people rave about it. Um, I live up here in the you know, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, but in DC, they have a big thing with the cherry blossoms. So it's a big deal. And plus they're cute and they're pink. So I was like, why not? So I got this box of trash bags just to try and add to my trash bag stash, which needs to be rebuilt anyway. And so these have 45 bags in it. And there was also a dollar fifty off um, coupon in the Target cartwheel section. I mean, not cartwheel, but Target Circle coupons. It used to be cartwheel before it changed its name, but this is a Target Circle dollar fifty off. So these are like twelve something, and then take another dollar and something off dollar fifty off, and it's a pretty good deal forty five. And so that qualified me. I also got some toilet paper and paper plates and all of that. So that qualified me for the uh, fifteen dollar gift card. So I got my fifteen dollar gift card plus all of my um, household items. That is what I, I used to use that sale to stock up because it's usually in starts in the spring about March and then they do it like maybe one other time and I always use it to stock up on all my household supplies and you can usually use it. I don't know if it's changed because they put it in that in the Target Circle app. So I don't know if you can do, I knew you could do it before like more than one time. So I would go and do it a couple times just to make sure I got all my stuff. And that is how when the pandemic happened, I was ready with my Lysol because I always, they had just had that sale before everything happened and I had stocked up on Lysol. So I was good to go <laughs> pre-pandemic. So you can use it on stuff like that too. People going back to school, get your get your wipes, you know, the Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes, um, sprays, whatever you need. All of that's usually included in the uh, sale. So that counts towards your $50. That's all I have for you on my wonderful, large, long Target haul. But that's why I want to share all these deals with you guys because I want you, you to be able to take advantage of it, especially if you are getting ready to go back to school, work, sending kids off to college, whatever the case may be. 
If you need these items, now's the great time to get them. Thank you so much for watching. If you hung in there that long with me, I really, really appreciate it. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.